Hey, memers and streamers. It's everyone's favorite crabby old bastard fracking here again. The purpose of this video is to teach you one of the most advanced movement tricks that I have ever seen in the game of Destiny. For those of you that watch the really top tier Crucible players, you may have noticed a particularly flashy move that they do that looks like this. I've nicknamed this move the Power Slide. This Power Slide move allows you to slide in any direction while simultaneously looking in any other direction. You can even slide straight back while looking forward. When I originally noticed this, I was watching some 1v3 clips from a popular Destiny YouTuber called Benny, and I assumed it was simply down to the movement of the Hunter class that he was playing. Later, when I seen him doing this exact same thing as a Titan, I realized it was something else entirely. So, over the next few weeks, I played around with it a bit here and there, but I absolutely could not get the move down, and I could not understand why. I even asked in the comment section of his videos to see if anybody could help. Not a single reply. Frick. Well, I don't give up quickly, and I don't give up easily. So I screwed around until I finally figured out the secret. And so, once again, here I am sharing that secret with you. And don't forget, if you liked the video, clicking that like button helps me out so that I can keep helping you out. And if this video made learning this move easier for you, maybe even consider subscribing. Helping new and struggling players grow their skills quickly and easily is the whole reason that I started this channel in the first place. So saddle up, Apon. They ain't paying us by the hour. Let's dive in and see what this move is and why it can be so damn hard to learn and how it's done. You can usually spot new players because they often walk everywhere, they tend to bump into things like they're drunk, they end up stuck in corners, and they usually stand still when they shoot. As their skill grows, they'll eventually discover the run key and learn when and where to use it, learn to slide it in out of cover, and other intermediate moves. If they stick with it, they'll eventually learn the real tricks of the trade. Rocket jumping. Oh, they're going to have to glue you back together in hell! Sticky jumping. <laughs> Two and three dimensional crabbing. Titan skating. Boosted Icarus dashing. And so on. Integrating these skills into your kit gives you an instant advantage over those who haven't, and it puts you on even ground with other players who have. If you want to play at a high level, you simply have to know these things and become proficient with them, especially if you play against other people. To first see this move done, it seems trivial and obvious. Snap the mouse to look where you want to slide, hit run, then hit slide, then immediately snap your look back to the original mouse position. The only problem is, it doesn't work. Don't take my word for it, go try it. This here is what that looks like you'll instantly realize that your little man simply ducks his head and looks around. Even if you do know how to do it and you screw up the timing, you'll still end up just ducking and looking around like an idiot. There's a secret to doing this that's not obvious, and you can't learn it just by watching the gameplay itself, because it's just too fast. Before we actually start attempting the move, I want to make sure that you have the key combination and the timing down. This move starts by entering a run animation, followed by a slide a fraction of a second later. Now, you can't just hit run and immediately hit slide. You need to wait long enough before hitting the crouch of the slide button for the run animation to fully engage. The best way to practice this is in third person with a sword somewhere, and just hold the forward button down the whole time, and just practice hitting slide, then run, then slide, then run, over and over and over again. Eventually, you'll learn the feel and the timing involved, and you'll learn to do this with very little effort. This is crucial, since the power slide uses the exact same key inputs and timing. Just practice this a bit to get that cycle time down pat, and get your fingers used to the pattern and the timing. Once you think you can instantly get into the pattern of the run slide run slide, without thinking about it, and without screwing it up, you're ready to move on. Now that you can do the run slide thing on command, we're going to add in the rest to finish off this new piece of your kit. First, I'm just going to describe the order of these things. The move is done by hitting the walk forward button and the sprint button while looking wherever it is that you want to be looking to get into the sprint animation, then waiting just long enough that the slide will trigger, 
then snapping the mouse very rapidly to the direction that we want to slide in. Hit the crouch or slide button while facing that direction that we want to slide in. Then immediately snap the mouse back to where we were looking when we started or to wherever we want to be looking now. Now here's the real secret to this that you can't see in a gameplay video. We're actually waiting almost a quarter to maybe even a half of a second after first hitting run before we snap the mouse, slide, and then snap the mouse back. When you do this right, you won't even see the forward movement at all, it'll be so fast. To the casual observer, it looks like you're activating some special ability. And in a way you are, your new ability that's made of skill. One problem that I had while learning this was being able to trigger it once, but then the timing would fall apart if I tried to do it multiple times in quick succession. The secret to this is the same as doing the run slide run slide thing that we did with the sword. Keep that forward button held down the whole time. If you keep that button held down, you can chain these run, snap away, slide, snap back moves endlessly. Practice it a little bit and you'll see how this works. Try to get this move down from a standing start from the middle of a full run, and so on. And if you want to learn to use this in the Crucible, try integrating it into your PvE kit first. Crucible is a high stress environment, and you don't want to be the idiot who's just standing around ducking his head over and over while he's whipping the mouse around. If you're struggling to get things down, there's probably one reason why. You're trying to go from the run to the slide too quickly. Done properly, it will have the same cadence and timing as I showed you with the run slide thing with a sword. In fact, if it's helpful, you could even just try and learn the key and the mouse timing in the third person with that sword. I also want to give you a warning for older people or people with serious health issues like myself. This sort of ultra fast mouse snapping thing is what caused my current arm issues and you should pay close attention to any pain or soreness that you have after practicing this kind of thing. I use a sensitivity that requires about 4 inches or about 10 centimeters of movement to do this move straight backwards and about half of that to slide directly to the side. When doing these rapid looking movements, I'm snapping the mouse 4 inches one way and then 4 inches back as fast as I can physically move it and it can take its toll on somebody whose body doesn't repair itself very well anymore. I've been suffering semi-permanent pain and soreness for about half a year now, so be forewarned, especially if you're playing with a fairly low sensitivity like this. Anywho, I hope you guys learned something useful, and I will catch you next time. GG's and 7-3's.